Hi guys, um, welcome again. Today we're gonna do the, the car's headlights. They don't look too bad, and there's a reason for that. So, around four years ago, um, I've removed the fly eye tint that uh, I had in this car. To remove some of the gunk, I've um, basically polished the headlights. It did okay, but if you look closely, there's still some glue. Oh, there's there's still some pattern from the fly eye tint that I couldn't remove with the, just the, the polishing compound. So um, we're gonna try to address this today with um, proper sanding, and hopefully will make this uh, a bit better but this is also a tutorial for you guys um, to this do this at home this again is one of those mods that you really want to try yourself and, um, and hopefully you'll get good results to do this job I'm gonna go through some of the stuff that I think you guys need to this do this properly uh, so on this bucket we're gonna put some uh, water uh, with soap ideally the warm water so we're gonna basically clean the headlights uh, from any debris that we might have um, then the next day the next step will be to mask the headlights because you don't want to scratch uh, any of the paintwork and when you're polishing definitely you don't want to get polished uh, on the bonnet then the next step will be using um, some sanding paper um, on this one I'm gonna use these pads that came with a kit from this brand which is Quix uh, I'm gonna give them a go um, but alternatively you can basically use some sandpaper uh, I got this from Halfords and we got different levels of sandpaper um, so basically higher is the number, finer is the, the sandpaper. So on this bottle I'm going to put some uh, wa uh, soapy water and that will basically help um, with the sanding method since this is wet sanding. Um, once we got everything covered I'm going to go for the Meguiar's Ultimate Compound, see how it does. Um, after that probably I'll give it a, a pass with the ultimate polish which is a much finer polish compound and then I got this which is called the headlight sealer uh, where we're gonna seal the headlights um, with a pad or anything so so that's pretty much it so let's get on with it so the first thing you want to do is to keep the headlights So that's the headlight pretty much masked. I can just put a bit more on this corner. Um, just make sure everything is fine. Um, but yeah, I'm happy with it. So the next step was gonna start sanding this um, with the pads that I got. Right guys, so now we're gonna get on with the sanding. Uh, as I've mentioned before, I'm gonna use this kit and this kit is actually number, numbered from 1 to 3 
So basically what we're going to do is do uh, a pass with number one, clean it, a pass with number two, clean it, a pass with number three, clean it, and then finally we're going to buff it with a, a polishing compound. Uh, you can, alternatively, you can use a wet sandpaper where you can get from your local shop and, um, and use it as well. What you need to um, understand is, depending on the state of your head, like you need to choose what um, sandpaper you want to use. Um, some of these headlights they get like very hazy and uh, like a kind of a, a texture uh, in the bottom end of the headlight. Usually that can only be removed with a bit more coarse uh, sandpaper. Don't go mad. Uh, it's better to just go a bit higher um, and then if it's not working go on a, a lower grade. Um, but that's pretty much it. So we shall just get on to get uh, this wet sander. Right guys, so here we go. So this is the first pass with the pad number one. Um, so the first thing you want to check is, obviously, because you've been sanding, you, this is going to be a bit ace. But what you want to do is, everything is uniform. As you can see, I've got a stripe here where I actually haven't done it properly. So compared with this, which is haze all the way, This isn't, so I'm gonna need to give a, uh, another pass here uh, to make sure it's uniform. And other thing I will say is focus on this lower area here because this is where usually da the damage is is bigger. So again, we're just gonna go and finish this off, and then we go to the next grid. All right, now we're gonna go for pad number two. Right guys, at this point you might notice that your masking tape gave up, which is normal because all the soapy water, um, but it's not too bad because you already used the most coarse sandpaper, so you just need to be uh, very careful. And the good thing about this pad is um, basically it's really easy to use and you have so much control on them. So now you'll notice that the haziness uh, is a bit more fine. So you don't see as many scratches as you used to see on the previous one which is exactly what you want so we shall just go to the next one and see the results uh, by the way this is a look of the second part and then I'll do a short cooperation with uh, all three of them This is how it looks after passing number three, which is with the third um, sandpaper pad. As you can see, it's almost clear, almost. Still a bit hazy, but not as much as previous one. Um, one of the things I probably didn't say previously, uh, I've tried to just keep um, steady movement, so going one way and then uh, uh, opposite way, so vertical and horizontal ways. Um, just to keep it uh, uniform um, and to make sure that you got a good coverage but I think we are getting there so the next step is going to be to mask all this back again 
and get the DA polisher. For reference, this is how the wet sandpaper came. So from left to right is one, two and three. And this is a brand new pad and uh, usually you need to prep the pads with a bit of water. So that's what I've just done. Um, this is a much smaller pad and is a bit more coarse. So uh, let's see how it does. Is this your own one you're doing or is it? No, it's my own. Do... Oh no, so I didn't know if it was something you did for a living. No, I don't. No, it's no. right, work question. No, right. Right. This is how it looks with another pass. I think I'm just gonna have to use the buffer pad to make it um, a bit better, but I doubt it. I think this is the best I can do. In the edges, it is still a bit ed uh, easy. So hopefully with the um, other pad, which is a buffer, that will help. So we're gonna go and use the ultimate polish now and see if we can get that extra glazy um, look. And um, let's see how it does. Right guys, so I would say that this is actually doing the trick. So this is actually making the headlights look brand new. Um, so I'm gonna give it definitely another pass and uh, and see um, if we can work on that. I'm not under right to seal these headlines. We're gonna use this um, headlight lens sealer. Um, according to the instructions, basically we. Uh, just need to agitate, um, spray it, leave it for five to ten minutes, and then just mm, buff it up. So that's what we're gonna do. Right, we're just gonna let this set and we can carry on with the other headline, basically repeating the process. Right guys, so that's today's video sorted. As you can see, the headlights have been polished. I'll give the car a quick rinse in the front because you don't want the soapy water to stay and dry in your bumper. But overall, I'm quite happy with the results. Um, Again, I'm not a specialist, I'm not a detailer, so this is the way I've done um, this restoration. I'm pretty sure that I've made so many mistakes, especially with the, the right part uh, to be used. But to be honest, for an amateur, I'm quite happy with the results. One thing I will say is, if you have uh, quite deteriorated uh, headlights, I wouldn't use these pads. I don't think they would do um, enough cutting to get to the end of that. So I'll probably will go with sandpaper and uh, as I said just go um, with a higher grade to lower and see if it's actually removing the texture or the haziness as such. Uh, you can always try just with putting some uh, water on the airlight and see if the haziness is gone uh, and keep sanding it uh, but don't go too mad because otherwise you're gonna end up to clear coating the headlights again. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this video. I'll leave you with some cinematics of the headlights, how they are. Um, I was about to do a before and after, but to be honest, I don't think they were that much damage to actually do so. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you.